Hey, NJRoute22.com here with another supermarket roundup for the weekend before Halloween uh, 2018. And today we're going to do a little bit of a, a diversion from our usual point out the things. I just wanted to remind everybody that we don't talk about mainstream foods like Doritos, white bread, pasta, and stuff like that. As if you've ever watched these for more than five minutes, uh, you, you realize that we, we tend to uh, try and eat whole foods and healthy and, and not jump on the uh, trendy bandwagon of organic and, and um, sustainable and all that. But I want to talk to you about this uh, independent choice uh, which is the Basil Bandwagon Company. Uh, you can see here, uh, there's Basil Bandwagon, there's a place in Morristown called Green Life Market, and there's a, another place in uh, Princeton called Whole Earth Center, and then there's the Kimberton Foods in PA, which we haven't been to yet, but we seem to think they're a pretty decent store. Uh, we're gonna go to the one out in Ottsville, which is just a stone's throw from uh, Frenchtown. But, this this magazine here it's all about healthy organic things and they're extremely expensive but you gotta be careful because you know i see the number of obese and overweight people going to these health food stores and just because they're organic or they're veggie burgers or it doesn't make it good for you to eat i mean these people are like sickly overweight i don't care if it's gluten-free bread or food should taste good tortilla chips um, or organic dippers, I mean like, or boom chicka pop popcorn. These are not good foods to eat. Any kind of chip or carb is, is not going to be good for you. And they have some sort of Kite Hill uh, cream cheese style spread. It's some sort of organic, healthy, whatever they call it, but it's like five bucks and it's, it's a rip off. And, and jelly, I don't care if it's organic and it's crofters and some old guy with a hat, they probably paid him to behold a, a few things of berries, it, it's, yes, okay, sure, it's less sugar, and that's good, especially if you're, you've given your kids some little toast. You gotta be careful. So all these things, like gluten-free pretzels, almond flour crackers, chips in general are, are just, you just eat, 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 eat them, and then you're gonna gain weight. And uh, I just want to also point out, like, apparently our house likes the Matt's uh, organic orange juice the best. Uh, we water, I water, when I'm uh, giving my kids juice, they never ever get it full strength. It's usually like five to one water to juice. Uh, you can't, it's too much sugar. It's like eating 50 oranges. You're better off just eating a whole orange if you're gonna do it. And I don't know, fruit, fruit sugar is, uh, is something you gotta watch out for, please. I, for your own health. Cereal is one of the worst things you can eat for breakfast because you're gonna be hungry for lunch before like 10 o'clock. Um, you're better off eating a, a freaking hard boiled egg. Eat a hard boiled egg for breakfast on your way to work and watch how not, you're not hungry for lunch. You gotta do it for like a week for your body to reset, but eat one egg and you'll see. So that's, I just wanna point out, just cause it's a health food store, I see they tout and, and and pedal these health, unhealthy things. And this because they're low in fat, dry, crunchy snacks are still uh, not good for you. So uh, with that diatribe over, I'm just gonna scan through these uh, things really quick. Uh, Kings, again, we don't we shop here only out of necessity sometimes, and uh, we occasionally find a good deal on some things. They, they have Bell & Evans. ShopRite does not carry Bell & Evans, just in case you didn't know that, because they think that Bell & Evans has some sort of um, inaccurate business practice where they call it one thing, like healthy or whatever, and it's not really true. So the guy, the guy at ShopRite told me that um, they, ShopRite doesn't carry Bell & Evans for that reason. So you can do your own research, uh, but we're not talking about Kings today, we're not gonna really talk about stop and shop because I, I just can't get out here to be, give you an honest, uh, I've been out there enough to know that I, 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 something's wrong with stop and shop. But they do have a good buy on this um, family pack lean ground beef. This is uh, our favorite kind of meat to eat. And 249 a pound is, is actually really, really good. I couldn't find a deal like that anywhere. 
else this week. So if you want to make a whole lot of hamburgers for, and meatloaf for people. We didn't get our bishops ad this week either. So there's really not much going on. Again, I can tell you about bacon. Bacon is a damn good food to eat, even with the nitrates. They have the Jimmy Dean. I like the Jimmy Dean bacon. And this comes out to about a dollar per quarter pound because uh, you only get a 12 ounce uh, pack here. But uh, that's, that's, a, that's the, the highest price we'll ever pay for bacon. We picked up our uh, stash of uh, Hormel low sodium bacon this week because it's the only one that we buy um, that has sea salt as their uh, salting method. Um, again, they're, they're touting this fried chicken. And I, I, I love fried chicken. It's almost the worst food I eat. And I don't buy it as nearly as much as I talk about it because uh, it's breaded. But every now and then, it's probably not going to kill you if you don't eat all eight pieces at once. If you have two or three pieces, you, you should be okay. And I don't see anything groundbreaking in uh, ShopRite's uh, ad this week. Uh, you know, th that's a good price, the ShopRite Mutts, you know. You only buy those on sale. Never pay full price for $5 a, a pound. Paying full price for that stuff, I mean, unless you can't live without it, which is ridiculous, um, just wait till it's on sale. You can live without it. Just eat your meat and your eggs and, and everything should be fine. I don't really have much else to talk about with uh, ShopRite this week. Because there's really, when you think about it, there's really nothing really groundbreaking that will make people line up and stampede the store um, each week. So these sales are just hit or miss. and. I, I'm, I'm not even sure why the ritual happens uh, these days. That's why we like going to places like Aldi because everything is always cheap and, and you never have to worry about what's on sale. I mean, actually, I don't really worry about what's on sale. I keep, I, you know, I pay attention. I, uh, what do you call it? I scan the things just so I know uh, ahead of time what I, I might want to pick up, like the Hormel bacon, for instance, or if there's vitamins. Uh, that that are on sale, you know that nature's bounty. I, these are not bad vitamins. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to be a senior citizen wearing a helmet, um, but th these are these are good. Th they work. I, I've used them. I mean, unless someone can prove it otherwise, I, I use their uh, the vitamins are pretty good. The cinnamon, by the way, you should look into cinnamon. They don't have it on their picture here. If you're going to eat uh, carb food, um, take your cinnamon with it, and it will lower your blood sugar and you will gain uh, less weight. It's, it's a secret that uh, I don't know why it's not getting front page uh, headlines. Uh, everybody should take cinnamon. So that's it this week. I and didn't really have any kind of focus on the individual products, uh, but that's okay. We may, uh, we may figure out uh, what to do with this, but it's, it's my little ongoing uh, message to people about uh, how to eat healthy and to stay away from the, the bad foods. Enjoy your upcoming Halloween. Boom.